Darren asked me to ask you. Darren Kaldira, your friend. Uh, I told you, what so, is this I'm sure safari? I'm sure it's going to be a funny one. <laughs> what is the safari that you guys went to and what's the demand that you have? Uh, so, I think we were off for a couple of days from like BFC had given us a few days off from training and stuff. So, and like Chetri, Kunal, uh, media manager of BFC. Uh, hey, Kunal is probably yeah. more famous from BFC than anybody yeah, yeah. in BFC. I think, I think he's, he's the most famous guy you find in BFC. You talk about BFC, Kunal's name will come somewhere or the other. Yeah, 100%. So, it was me, Kunal, it was Kunal Chetri, Darren, uh, our team manager, Pemangur uh, Barwa, and me. And we went for this trip. All Mumbai guys and Chetri. And Premangur Barwa. Yeah, He's yeah. also Delhi. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we went for this trip. We decided we'll go for this uh, safari trip and all that. And it was... Uh, it was so there were there was only funny things that happened on the trip. But this one is... Uh, I think he, even Alvin was there, if I'm not mistaken. The video analyst. Yeah, he, I think he, he was there. And uh, we were all ready to go for the safari. We had booked the safari and all that. And it was a night safari. And uh, we had booked it and all that. And then these guys were all ready. We all pumped up. And these guys were, all of them, all of us were excited to be fair. But then for me it was, you know, from, we traveled all the way from Bangalore. So I was like kind of hungry. So I told them, and these guys were not even like, you know, feeling it. So, okay, they all dressed up and we're ready to go for the safari. And I'm like, like, uh, are we having dinner or no? So then these guys were, no, no, we don't need to have dinner. We'll just go and we'll come back. And I was like, no, what rubbish. And I, then I, sorry, I got a call. So then, then I was like, like, what rubbish? This is not possible. Like, you know, I need to have my dinner and I'm hungry. So then, then they were like, come on, we'll just go for safari, finish it and all that. And then we can come back and eat. I was, then I started throwing a little tantrum. Then I was like, no, no, no. I want to eat my dinner. Then only I'm going for a safari. Oh, I'm not going to go for it and all. So then, then these guys were like, they could not believe it, you know. So they started making, from from th- then on, they always made fun of me. When the safari topic comes out, they like, hey, please. And then whenever anything happens, oh, give him food. He's hungry. I think he's cranky because he's hungry. So that's the whole joke behind it. So I was throwing tantrums because I didn't want to go safari because I wanted to eat dinner before that. These guys all, I'm sorry. Legitimate issue. You're hungry, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but then these these guys were like, you know, it's safari, you should be excited, you're getting to see some animals and you know, live and this and I don't know. I'm like, but I need my food. I can't help it. <laughs> and they were like in the adult they were like, Are you like serious? I'm sure all of them I thought why you bought him us in the first place, but for me I couldn't help it. I was hungry back then, yeah. Did you manage to see any live animals in the safari? We've seen elephants, I think. Yeah, we've seen a couple of elephants and all. I don't think we seen a lot though. Uh, so it's better to eat and go because you yeah, know, so elephants are much easier to see than other <laughs> And the best part is, I, I was hungry, but when we went for dinner, everybody enjoyed the meal. Everybody ate and they were very happy and they were like, oh, thank God we ate and all that. So I was like, see, you also thank me at the end of it. Because then you'll wanted to eat, but you're also excited that you'll, you didn't care about it much. But then they were just laughing about it. So they keep, still they keep making fun of it. So there are some few tidbits also I want to know. Ashley told me about this yellow jersey thing you had in training, <laughs> the worst trainer. So who yeah. got it first? I think it was... If I'm not mistaken, it was it me. Hussain came and gave it to you. It was me, I think. It was, I was the first one to get it. <laughs> yeah, I think... I, and this, see, initially I thought it was, you know, they... They early, you know, voted for the worst player and everything. But it was nothing close to the worst player because it's all politics. Because you just, <laughs> it's basically, it, it was just, if even, to, we were, we were I think, 18 of us and three teams. So, we should play 6v6, correct? So, there were three teams and the one team which loses, the two teams vote against them. So, initially, I think maybe, maybe the first, second time, maybe I only played badly the first time and they gave me the bib. Okay, I understood. But later on, as, as you know, every week, so this game used to happen uh, before every match, we should have this game, the yellow bib. And the next day, you have to wear it for the match also. When you come for the main game, you have to wear it and come in the bus and stuff like that. So initially, I thought it was, you know, it was, okay, I really did badly in training and they gave me the bib. But then I think I got it a few more times after that and everybody else started getting it and then it became a controversy because everybody should go and, you know, like, you know, hey, listen, hey, let's vote for him. Let's vote for him. Today he didn't get it. Nah? Last week he didn't get it. We'll give it to him. Like, you know. So, whoever the two teams were, 
for you know just like okay we, they planned it out first on who to give the bib so basically there was no it was not about you know who had the shittiest day in training anybody randomly could get it. there was even sunil chetri got it once because people just wanted him to see the, him wear a yellow bib <laughs> so they gave it to him so they just voted for him so yeah it was but it was it was it was it was a bib that you know you could never wash and you yeah. have to wear it in training so whatever you sweat in and the next person has to also sweat in the same thing and wear the same thing again so that it can never That's be washed tank up the place no yeah it was of... very bad i swear till, by the end of the year it got very bad and it was written i'm worse than uh, i think it was our physios names were written i'm a worse footballer <laughs> than them <laughs> so yeah <laughs> it was it was it was bad it was bad but it was a, it was a fun game it was it was fun you know you have these small small things that happen in training these things were like 